estrogen is interesting because it tends to have certain effects on the body. It goes up during puberty in preparation for childbearing, but it also decreases the appetite. So when estrogen goes up, appetite actually goes down. So you see this through the menstrual cycle. As you get closer and closer to ovulation, you see that the amount that women are eating tends to go down. And then in the luteal phase, as estrogen goes down, the progesterone goes up and the amount people eat goes up more. Now, the fascinating thing, which I had never seen before, but Lumen had shared it with, uh, this research with me, is what type of fuel the body is using during the menstrual cycle. The Lumen is a small handheld device and it measures the exhaled carbon dioxide. And why does this make a difference? It's because our body uses two types of fuel. It can either use glucose, which is carbohydrates, or it can use fat. And when you metabolize those two types of fuel, the amount of carbon dioxide released in your breath is different between the two. This article looked at the exhaled carbon dioxide during the menstrual cycle and also during menopause to get an idea of what happens to your body when you're going through these differences between estrogen and progesterone through the menstrual cycle. And what you can see is a very distinct two phases, just like we have the follicular and the luteal phase. What you can see is that all the way up to ovulation, where estrogen is going up, you can see that the amount of carbon dioxide is staying relatively high, which means that the body not only is eating fewer total calories because of the appetite suppressing effect, but it's tending to burn more carbs during that initial follicular phase. And then it switches. After ovulation, progesterone goes up, appetite goes up, and the body switches then to burning fat because you can see that the amount of exhaled carbon dioxide goes down.